Hello everybody, I am going to talk on risk analysis. My name is Dr. Prabodh Halde. Risk analysis is a very important part of the food safety. Risk analysis is a scientific work, it is a science based system to arrive on a food safety problem solution. Section 18 of the FSSI Act has given the emphasis on every aspect in the food safety to be tackled with the risk analysis. We all know that there is a hazard and which is responsible, which is a potential to harm the consumer. So, it has a safety impact. The risk analysis has three steps. Risk assessment, which is a science based step, technical thing. Risk management and risk communication. We will see the first step, which is risk assessment. Risk assessment is a purely a science based technical steps and divided into the four sub steps. Hazard identification, hazard characterization and exposure assessment and risk characterization. I will give the example at our home. What happened if there is a curdling of the milk? Then mother approaches this problem through the risk assessment, how she do? She smells the milk and she arrives on a conclusion, if the exposure of that particular hazard is high, then she takes a decision to reject. Otherwise, we convert that particular curdle milk into the sweet dish with the chana. If you go into the detail, how it has happened? She has identified the hazard. So, the risk is a factor of hazard into exposure. So, the probability of occurrence of the hazard into the severity of the exposure. So, she has with her experience arrived on exposure of that particular hazard is the smell or sometimes the taste and she has taken a final call. In an industry, the risk exposure, the exposure of particular hazard is conducted through the toxicological studies. So, various chemicals, contaminants, we do the toxicological study on the rats or monkeys and the exposure is assessed. It is called as a NOAEL level. The highest data point where exposure of that particular chemical does not give any adverse effect and then you arrive on a limit of safe. So, that is a ADI or specifications. Then it comes to the risk management. Risk management is a purely a management tool. Once you arrive on a characterization of the risk, then it is a management of that risk. It needs to be independent. A person who is doing risk assessment should not be doing risk management. A management involves a separate task. You are basically arriving on a conclusion how that particular risk to be tackled. What are the steps to be taken? The steps could be recall of the product, disposal of the product, rejection of the product or any other thing. Once you take the proper step of risk management, then those management P actually management points need to be communicated all stakeholders. So, it is called the risk communication. Then the risk communication has been done through the particular website. So, you post that particular incident on the website and communicate to all stakeholders. I will give the example, you go to the pathologist, he do your testing of the blood, it is called the risk assessment. You go to the family doctor with that report, he does the risk management. So, he will give you the medicine, but pathologist may be the doctor, he will not do the risk management. I hope the concept is clear. Just to recap, risk analysis has three steps, risk assessment, risk management, risk communication. Risk assessment is the purely technical term, has sub four sub steps, hazard identification, hazard characterization, exposure assessment and risk characterization. I hope you like this talk, we will come back with one more talk, thank you.